My name is Jackson Norris. Today will be the most important of my career. My final interview with the most infamous prisoner in America. A man that the world thought was a terrorist called the Mandarin, but is now alleged to be nothing but an actor. Thus far, the subject has been evasive and apparently oblivious to the point of my work. In fact, he seems oblivious to pretty much everything except his own growing celebrity. Here he comes, here he comes. Because now, the whole world knows his name. This is my last chance to get beyond his lies and excuses, to confront the subject with elements of his own past in order to unlock the truth. Because we need to know, once and for all, who is Trevor Slattery? Exactly the rips, is it? Hey! Stop right there! Oh, Come on, Mr. Slatter. You know you're supposed to wait for me. First time ain't safe down here for a celebrity like yourself. So, Herman, with whom shall we lunch today? Serial killers, nonces? I hear the tribes are a good giggle. And remember, sir, you have the three o'clock one, Mr. Norris. If only my mother could see me in my very own documentary. Well, I still think you should have done that exclusive for 60 minutes. I told you, I'll never work for CBS again. Wait, Herman! Where's my chalky milk? I'm so sorry, sir. I'll be right back. And while you're there, can you see if they've got any kale? I'm on it! Oh! Bollocks. You ruined my jumpsuit, bitch. Shell. You know what I want right now? Autograph? I want to give the world exactly what it's been crying out for. Your dead body laid out on a goddamn slab. Hey, Cracker. What's up? Oh, it's the fan base. Kiss my rings, bitch. You're not the Mandarin Slattery. You're not even a real criminal. Au contraire, Dave. When an actor has inhabited a role as long as I have, he often becomes it, and it him. Uh, uh Mr. Slattery, uh, me and the boys was just wondering if you could do, uh, do the voice. Fletcher, it's not something I can just turn on. I'm not your meat puppet. Oh, very well. <coughs> and you will see me coming. <laughs> oh, I told you! I told you he was gonna do it! I told you! I told you! Thank you! No, no, I, I thank you. you. I like you. I have all my chalky milk. Ready when you are. Vocal warm-ups. Old habit from my stage walk. I can't imagine starting out you never thought you'd end up in some place like this. Yeah, not bad, eh? That whole rolling on people thing gets the VIP treatment. It looks like you're living comfortably. There are things that I miss. <clears throat> Kesselman, obviously. And the birds. But, you know, you make doing that department. I mean, we've all been to drama school, have we not? You know what I'm saying? Okay, look, Trevor, this is our last day, okay? Last day? Yes, finally. And uh, we've covered a lot of the logistics, uh, your recruitment by Aldridge Killian, the creation of an amalgam warlord by his think tank. And Whom I brought to life. Carry on. The one question that most people ask me when I tell them that I know you mm -hmm. is that, uh, how could he have not known what was going on? Three little words. Hmm. Lovely drugs. Okay. To bring this film to a close, I'd like to know more about the man behind the mask. The real Trevor Slattery. You know, with all the internet gossip and tabloid exposés, and not much is known about you personally. Well, I think that an actor does better to keep a shred of mystery. Otherwise, you know, it can color the audience's perception. Mm. What you got there? I found this in the vaults of an English newspaper called the Liverpool Echo. That's you and your mother, right? Yeah, it is. 
October 12th, 1964. That was the day I landed my first role. Bold Swain won, Shakespeare's Tempest. Obviously, I told her it was the lead. Always was a bloody great liar. So I assume the two of you were close. She was everything to me. She passed in 1986, but you weren't there when she died. No, I wasn't. I was here in America for my big break. This would be the TV pilot for the CBS network. Caged Heat, wonderful piece about avenging Russian police cop with anger issues let loose on Los Angeles. I wish I had a copy. I wish I had a copy. Actually, Trevor, I managed to find some footage of that as well. Oh, oh, oh. Handsome lad, handsome lad. Yeah, it's compelling. <clears throat> Sean Connery made a pass at me once. Everyone on the set called him Mr. Connery. He called me Trev. You're very talented, Trev. That's fascinating. Was that a monkey drinking vodka? Yes, yes! And still those knobs of the network didn't pick it up. I think it was too sophisticated for them. Hmm. That was the break that broke me. Well, right there. You seem to typify your life as a series of missed opportunities, but yet you don't tend to take responsibility for many of them. My responsibility is to my muse. I'm an actor, love, mm. not a bloody rocket surgeon. Mm. But possibly your portrayal has angered some people. No, I mean, some, some of them are very dangerous. You don't have to tell me, mate. I've seen those bloody internet message boards. Vicious. I'm not talking about the message boards. I'm talking about the Ten Rings. Come again? The terrorist group. Historically associated with the Mandarin. Officially, they're dormant, but evidence suggests that they're becoming more active. Well, the Ten Rings, are they real? Well, it's well documented. That is so cool. Well, Trevor, you told me that when you got this role that you had researched it thoroughly. Yeah, but when an actor tells you he's done the research, it means he's switched on his computer, Googled his own name, and had a quick wank. So, you mean to tell me that you don't know the history of the Mandarin himself? He was a warrior king. He inspired generations of men through the Middle Ages, perhaps even further back in time. Blah, blah, blah. Who bloody cares, mate? It's a show people want, and I gave them a good one. It's not the Mandarin they'll remember. It's the name, Trevor Slattery. It's the brand, Trev. You're right. And for that sin, you will soon suffer horribly with a hole in your body for every ring of our faith. <laughs> Sorry, what? You heard me. Pulling that trigger, Mr. Slattery. I'm an out of work actor, love. You've no idea what I'm capable of. And thanks to the CBS network, I'm pretty good with a handgun. Oh. Consider this a lesson in what's real and what's not. Why do people keep pointing guns at my head? Please, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Target acquired and in position extraction unit mobilized. I'm not the one that's going to kill you, Mr. Slattery. I'm here to break you out. That's nice. Not really. You see, there's somebody who wants to meet you. You don't know him? No. 
thought you took his name. And now he wants it back. No, <laughs> sorry. I still don't get it. Just wondering if you could uh, do the voice. Jackass. Whatever. Where have you been? I, 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 I wrote a book in the time you were gone. And you'll never see me coming. Look at this guy. What is so special about him? I mean, he, I, I had an army of robots. What's he got? He's got some dumb accent. And his name's Trevor. And what is that? Like if Bin Laden and Benny Hill had a baby. Wake up and look at this chick. That preposterous up stuff. Look at me. Some second rate jumped up Amazon secretary. Tony and I. Tony, Tony, and Tony's cool. Tony and I, we have an understanding. We're both brothers in arms, you know. Literally, we were both arms dealers. Both good looking. We both have nice hair. Both have boats. I used to have a boat. But anyway, not here, baby. Not here. 